What is going on guys, my name is Baron or Developer B, and welcome back to episode 15 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial series, and in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make a kick and ban plugin, which we are going to call Bad Player. And pretty much what this plugin is going to do is it's going to be able to kick and ban a player of our choosing, and it will be able to give them a reason why they are banned, and by whom they are banned, or kicked. So, let's go ahead and get right into this so as you can see i have this first class set up the bad player class which is our main class and i'm registering the kick and ban command and i'm also going to register this i forgot to do it before we started this but we are also registering a listener which is player join and this is going to be the listener for the band class which i will explain later so and we're also going to have a configuration file to list our own band players i know bucket includes their own configuration for band players but we are going to make our own so it's nice and good so let's go ahead and get right into these commands so here's the kick command and we have the pretty much basic setup for it so we're going to be able to have our plugin to access our class so pretty much what I have down here is the general layout for this kick command that we're going to have and it is going to be kick and then the player name and then the reason. So I have this basic setup which is also going to allow us to be able to have these arguments. So this first one is going to listen if it is just slash kick and if it is just slash kick we're going to send them a message and say that please specify please specify a player and reason and down here if they only give the player then we are going to tell them to specify a reason so we're going to say please specify a reason and now we are good to go and we are ready to do our main thing and pretty much this is going to be a lot like our player heal and feed class over here and what this is going to do is we are going to set up a target for this player so we're going to say player target equals bucket dot get player of arg zero and if this player does not exist which we are going to specify right now so if target is null we did this in the player healing and feed class, so you should be familiar with this and know what is going on. So if target is null, then we are going to send the sender message and we are going to say the, or we're just gonna say args zero is not online. And the reason why we are not specifying a player is because the console is able to kick and ban players too. So yeah. Now we are going to return here, return true, and now we know that our target is real. So what are we gonna do with this target? We are going to kick them, obviously, and we are going to specify a message when we kick them. So we're gonna say target.kickplayer, and then it allows us to give a nice message. And pretty much this message is going to be a little bit of specified stuff also i almost forgot so we're going to leave that down there and we are actually going to make our string builder now because we have to do our reason so we are going to do this and we are going to say for string or wait <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing for int i equals one because we already have our target specified i is less than args out length i i plus plus and then we can say x dot append args i plus space and now that we have our reason nice and formatted we are able to do this and this format i also went over in a past episode which was the i believe it was the motd episode and a few other ones maybe I don't remember what exactly we've done, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in the MOTD tutorial. So when we are kicking the player, we are going to send them a colored message. And I'm gonna teach you some formatting techniques that you can use. 
and we are going to say you you have been kicked from the server and this is going to appear i'll show you how it'll appear once we get in game and it is going to say you have been kicked from the server reason and or actually buy and then we are going to do this and also while we are adding buy we are going to have the string kicker whoever is kicking or server like that whoever is kicking the player so what we are going to do is we're going to be able to specify who the kicker is whether it's the server or an actual player and we're going to give that player name so we are going to say if sender instance of player so if the sender is a player then we are going to say kicker equals sender dot get name and what this is going to do is if the console is kicking the player then it's going to say that they were kicked by the server but if it's a player kicking that player then it's going to be this right here so it's going to be sender instance of player then they will be the kicker so now we can say bye and then just add this kicker and we are good and then backslash n which this means new line if you guys don't know what that means so backslash n is a new line and then we are going to say reason and then we are going to give the reason which is x dot two string dot trim and that is actually pretty much it we are we can also send the sender message chat color dot green and say successfully kicked and then target dot get name get name and there we go that sounds like it is about it there isn't really much else we can add and yeah so now we are actually going to go into our band command and we are going to generally have the same exact thing so let's go ahead and copy this and go into our band command it's set up pretty much the same as our kit command that we have and we can actually just go ahead and copy and paste this like so and just change some stuff up as you can see this means that we have duplicate code but all we have to do is go down here we can say this is the banner the banner and then this is the banner and now it'll it'll be fine kind of we are going to pretty much go like this so we're gonna go down here we're just gonna just change some of the format like so and now we are going to get into the juicy stuff so this is where we are going to be accessing our config so I guess we actually don't really need this right here because we can just we can, we don't need to access the config. So we'll go in here, and we can actually go and say git command kick dot set executor to this, and we don't we don't need to do that. So there we go, and now we can go ahead and do this. So. Oh wait, I don't know why why I said this. It's actually new kit command. New kit command. There. Now we are good. So exit out of those. And now this is where we're gonna need to do that new band command because we need to set this plugin up. And we're gonna go down here. We're gonna kick the player just like we did and go down from here. And we're actually going to be using the config. And we're going to use this config by creating a player's own section inside of there and I'll show you what that means so we're pretty much going to set band players dot target dot get name dot kicker or banner actually banner and we are going to set that to the banner like that and now we can go down here and say plugin dot get config dot set band players dot target dot get name get name plus dot reason and we are going to set that to x dot two string dot trim and pretty much what this is going to do is we are going to create a player's own section and we are going 
to specify their banner and reason so it is stored inside of the config. And remember that the dot represents another section, so it is actually going to be like this. And I'll show you guys right now. It's going to be banned players, and then I'll just do I'll just do my name for an example. So developer B, and then over here it is going to be like reason or what's it called banner and reason. And this will be like server, and this will be like you suck at coding or whatever. So that is what the format will look like so yeah that's pretty much the general layout and we are pretty much done with this class now but we have this config stuff stored in here but we can't really regulate it without this player join event so we are going to go to this next and we are going to regulate this so we are actually going to go like this and say for we're going to do a string section in the plugin dot get config dot get section configuration section of band players dot get keys false and pretty much what this is going to do is it's going to list everything under this band players it's going to give all of these names right here so it's going to give all of this stuff right here it's not going to give this it's just going to give this right here and we're looping through all of those right there and we're going to find it so pretty much we are going to say if section dot contains player dot get name obviously then or we can actually say equals ignore case or just equals let's say just equals if it equals player dot get name then we are going to kick them so we're going to say player player dot kick player with our message so chat color dot red and we are going to say you are banned from the server and we're going to say buy and then plugin dot get config dot get and we can say get string i guess not string list string we can say buy band players dot player dot get name dot banner and then we can say for or reason and then we can say plugin dot get config dot get string not string list string band players dot player dot get name dot reason so there we go that is a really long line of code but we have everything formatted out and everything will work so this is how the player join class is formatted by the way just the same we've done in the past if you don't know how to do this then go watch my listeners tutorial i'll show you how to do that but that's actually pretty much it in our player join event. So whenever the player joins, they will be instantly kicked if they are banned from the server. So let's go ahead and actually try this out. So let's go ahead and build this, build artifacts, bad player, and build that. Let's go ahead and get into it. So there we go. We obviously have some deprecation right there. Where is this actually at? Oh yeah, the get player is. Okay, well let's go ahead and go in here and try this out. So as you can see, if we reload the server, we have the bad player right there. And right there. And we can go ahead and say slash help bad player. And we can have kick and ban, bans a player from the server, kicks a player from the server. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and go into the console and we can actually minimize this and we can say kick developer B and then the reason is you suck at coding there we go and as you can see it says you have been kicked from the server by server and reason you suck at coding and we can join back no problem because it is the kick command but uh, let's try and use the ban so if we go right here we can say oh 
we have a little bit of an error null pointer exception and we can go ahead and fix that let's go back in here and go to player join so we are going to say if plugin dot get config dot get configuration section band players is not equal to null there we go and that will solve everything so pretty much we are saying if the configuration section band players exist then we can go into this code so it's obviously going to be created if we ban a player so obviously that means there's no banned players right now and we can now go ahead and reload this and we can join the server back and have no problem there we go now let's go ahead and try banning this guy so if we say ban developer b for you suck at coding or we can just say sucking at coding that would be cool sucking at coding then it will do this and it will say you have been banned from the server by server reason sucking coding and if we join back to the server we will be kicked and it says you are banned from the server by server reason sucking coding if we go in here and go to bad player oops bad player config it says ban players developer b banner server and reason sucking coding and we can actually change this. Let's go ahead and remove this band player and save the thingy. So now if we go back, let's reload this. And if we go back into the server and ban ourselves, let's try banning ourselves and see what happens. Ban uh, sucking at coding. And as you can see, it says you have been banned from the server by developer B. So it says me now because I'm a player in the server and it's reason second coding. So thank you guys for watching. That was a basic tutorial on kicking and banning. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in episode 16 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. Oh.